Hey students! So today we're going to be talking about different types of cells, particularly unicellular organisms and multicellular organisms. And so first we're going to talk about, well, what is a cell? Um, cells are basic building blocks for all living things. Um, cells are the smallest living thing that come together and um, make bigger living things and perform all life functions. So, you, what are unicellular organisms? So we know that the word uni means one. So you can also call this a single celled organism. Um, and so this type of cell is responsible for all life functions. So this one cell in this organism does all life functions for this organism, such as feeding and reproduction, movement, everything. Um, and sometimes these are too small to even see without like a microscope or like a, um, something that you can really zoom in and see it. Um, they're really, really small. And so what are multicellular organisms? So we know multi means many. So a multicellular organism is an organism that um, requires and relies on many types of cells um, to perform life functions. Um, so we as humans are multicellular organisms. Animals, plants, and fungi are multicellular organisms. And um, so multicellular organisms um, depend on the specialization of different cells for various functions. So we know that we have muscles. So we have um, smooth muscle cells that help us move our body. And then we have skin cells on the top that protect our insides from everything on the outside. We have so many different types of cells. We have nerve cells, and these cells um, send signals to the rest of our body when we need to know something.